right, so this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving doubters wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something. Right. He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out of the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Many smirked at him. Many laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance. And when he got here, he would get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic. But there's no denying. He has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time. And a lot of people believe we will have a new champion by night's end. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Makhachev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that has been in his career. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbula. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbula's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Shawkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, his Gotcha! Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. Well, it may not be tabbed Fight Island any longer, but it is still a major destination for the UFC. Great to be with you tonight from the Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi, where a lot of high-level fighters are set to compete. It's going to be a great night. Every time we come here to Abu Dhabi, the fights are absolutely fantastic. Let's see if the fight tonight can live up to what we have seen up to this point in this arena. Early round one action here, and just like that, he gets him to the ground. Feels like a pretty significant moment here early, champ. I mean, it's no secret what this guy wants to do. This guy wants to take you down, and he wants to grind you out. He got the takedown early. Let's see how long he can control this position and what amount of damage. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Gotta be careful here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. 
Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Makhachev has got full mount now. Making all these shots count. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. And open. Makashev's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Oh, nice. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Makashev's right back to the full mount. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep. Oh, outstanding round. Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. That kick lands. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Good straight hand there by Islam Akasha. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. Big kick lands. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Nice shot there by the champ. Attack the base, here comes the uppercut. Really nice defense. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice move into half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, as many expect. Uh, gotta be careful here. Makashev's in half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Makashev's back inside control here. 
30 seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Oh, next. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Good. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh! Now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. In the half guard. Good work from the top here by Islam Makashev. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Makashev's back to the side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Three minutes to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Islam Akasha. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh man, another ground strike gets through. It's gonna be motion in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Makashev's going for a choke. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von flu choke looks locked in. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. Oh, it's like that. 
on his first test in elementary school. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two man on uppercuts. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Finish with the high kick. Oh, perfectly done as he gets the takedown. Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut him. Oh, right into Mount. Big right hook there by the champ. <laughs> Nicely done. He's got to find a way back to his feet. He a lot needs of fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rock Mama. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Rockman. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Two minutes. Makashev's in half guard. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeted. Oh, the submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Rock Mama. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. You're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> Ten seconds now to go in the round. Uh, Horn sounds uh, for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready? You ready? Go. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. So Rachmanov's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a oh. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving. So you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, it's late in the fight now. He's lost his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. 
All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to take him for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, he's got a choke. Yep, that gets his feet. Oh. He's gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Rachmanov's in half court. Working out of the half court here. Great ground and pound by this man. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. One minute to go in the fight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. Dars, yep, he's trying to hit the Dars here. That Dars choke is tight. Oh, great submission defense. Relentless pressure from the top by Rock Mono. So they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world is Walker Chan. All right, so we needed the...